Hello cello people. We are on to page six and we are going to start learning how to put our fingers down to change the notes on our strings. So a string instrument is pretty simple to understand. Uh, the string gets pulled under tension and it vibrates. <clears throat> and the longer the string is, the lower the note. The higher the string is, the higher the note. So as we put fingers down, we shorten the string and we make it vibrate faster. So we are going to learn how to do this um, in a very systematic way uh, to hopefully help you hear the notes and train your fingers about where they go so you don't have to keep looking over every time that you need to change your notes. So we're gonna get used to where our fingers go. So our normal finger position is, uh, if you can see the tapes, there's a blue, a white, and a red. If you have the full fingerboard sticker, I think it's blue, uh, white and red in the other direction or something I can't remember off the top of my head um, but for right now second finger and third finger move as a pair we'll learn second finger no uh, notes towards the middle of the book um, and then there's another note that we can play down here and when you get up to the yellow tape it's gonna sound Pretty much like the next string. Um, so our thumb goes flat against the back of the neck and then it should be about behind, let me see if I get a good angle, about behind where second finger should go and then all of our fingers should be about a finger space apart. And you're going to learn exactly where to put those fingers as we listen and we adjust and we hear those notes. Um, so, but to get the first note, and if you don't have a tape, I'm, that's okay, I'm going to show you how to get that note also. So we're going to start actually with the string we haven't played yet, which is the uh, second string to the right. That's the G string. And that G string is one octave below where our fourth finger goes on the, um, the D string. And so the first note that we're going to learn here in number 10 is called the note G. And the G should sound one octave higher. So you're going to use that low G string to find where your fourth finger goes. And then the next note that we're going to learn in 11 is second finger. And then we skip one. We actually pull second and third off together. And then the note that we'll learn up in measure 14 is the first finger. So we're going to learn how to move four, three, one, open. And when I uh, talk about fingering um, numbers, unlike if you have taken piano lessons where thumb is one and pinky is five, we actually have index fingers one, three, and four are our main fingers. Now, you're going to want to get used to putting all four fingers down. And I know, so I'm going to do this on the last string because it's a little hard to see with this camera. We put that finger down and it deflects the string. And if you're just using your pinky to play that fourth finger note, your hand's gonna get tired pretty quickly. So we're actually gonna use all four fingers to push the string down. And then when we get to the three finger note, we'll use all three. And then the one finger note, you'll just use first. And we do that because um, when your hand gets really tired, it's, it's a little discouraging. And we want you to be able to uh, be excited about practicing and getting better each time you take your instrument out to play. So we wanna make sure all those fingers are going down at the same time. All right, here we go. We are gonna play G again, and I'm gonna show you this at the beginning of each track. We're gonna play G and find G up here. And then away we go. Again, it's a good idea to make sure that you're singing that note G, 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 and get it programmed in your ear as well as in your fingers. And I'm again gonna pitch up here so you see which string I'm plucking. Ready, go. thing to notice I'm not pitching sideways where my nail 
needle gets involved. You don't want that percussive sound of your fingernail. I'm actually using the side of my finger right here, kind of the uh, edge of the pad, and going sideways to get a little bit more um, warm sound out of the pizzicato.